This is part two of my video uh, describing how to change out the Blu-ray laser on the PlayStation 3 Slim. Uh, so far, if you've been following the first video, we've taken the PlayStation 3 apart and we have removed the Blu-ray laser. Uh, now I'll be showing you how to put it all back together again, because uh, that's easier than following the previous instructions backwards. Between the two videos, I've removed the laser. I've then removed the four rubber feet, because my replacement laser did not come with the four rubber feet, so I've removed the rubber feet. So, we're saying bye-bye to the old laser. Here's my new laser. So I've transferred the rubber feet, and I've also transferred this, uh, this little tab here. Which brings us on to putting it all back together again. So, put in here. So the laser is in, and now we'll be replacing those four screws, which look like they look like this. They have a uh, fucking focus on that. No, doesn't want to do it. Anyway, you should remember which ones it was. They're uh, flat topped and wide, and they have a small cross section on and a small Phillips head slot, and put those four in. Uh, this piece here is going to go through the square hole and the most complicated part about this is getting this tab back into its slot here. It's kind of tricky to do because you have to do it on the underside. But you want to push it all the way in, give it a wiggle, just to once it's straight, give it a gentle wiggle and it should go in and then you want to put down the little black tab to lock it in place. But I always struggle with this part. I find it quite awkward to do. It's in straight. Now I'm going to lock down the little black piece and then that should just uh, check that that's all the way in otherwise you'll have to pull it all apart again to find out what you've done wrong. Right, I've got the thick piece underneath in. Now make sure that make sure that this is through the hole. Keep this piece out. And now we have to get this in here. Line it up. Make sure none of these, there's a blue tab, two blue tabs and a brown tab, make sure they're not caught underneath. And it should, provided you have it straight, which I haven't. To get this in, you have to Slot the board underneath the two little clips and then push it down and then it should snap into position. Now you have to get all these tabs in. I find the best way to do that is lightly push it and then apply pressure to each side until it slides in. They should have a little darker line on so you know that it's um, as far as, in as it's supposed to be. So we have a fat blue one, a thin blue one, and a sort of orangey brown one. These don't have clips, they just need sliding in. But they're a bit fiddly to do. Put 
possibly my least favourite part. Both blue ones in and the orange one. I'm going to flip this back over and replace this. Sits in there. And now we should be up to putting the case back together. I'm going to make sure I get this back on the right way. Top on. I have the screws on over to one side so I remember which way they all go. This side has the sort of flat looking matte silver screws. Three of those on this side. And then there's the five screws on the other side. Be careful that it doesn't fall apart as you flip it. This side, you see the little black piece here? You slide it over that. So it goes through the little hole and should go down like that. On one side there are three screws, on the other side there's two. The side with the two screws has the longer of the five screws you removed. So I'm just going to put these two long ones in. On the far side there should be three, one in each corner. You'll need to make sure that this, on this side there's uh, two little triangles and clips this shell down. Two on the outside and then that one that we looked at earlier on that sort of is easy to miss hiding in the middle. And then once this is all back together, you have the drive completed. So if you are just replacing the drive, you will already be at this point. Okay, we can now bring back in the PlayStation Live. Uh, Goes in this way, and um, I don't want to catch any wires. So I'm just going to move these to one side. Now, when the drive goes in, it fit the front part. It has two little black parts that fit underneath there. So that goes down, and then this goes on top. You replace the black screw at the back of the drive, it fits onto the little black piece of plastic and attaches the drive to the PlayStation. After you've screwed down the black screw, you're going to lock this little piece in. It's uh, got the blue tab on the end and it goes in the socket behind. To open the socket, the little black tab should be in the up position, to lock it, it should be down. So you push it in, flip it down, and then that should be locked in. Then we bring back this part. If you followed my instructions on how to take it apart, the screws for this should uh, still be screwed into the two holes. So remove those, because you're going to need them to screw this back down. And that, you need to be careful with this because it fits down in a very exact position. Make sure no wires are getting trapped where they shouldn't be. And then you screw it down. It has a screw on either side. Little silvery screws that look like they have washers attached to them. It should go down fast and easy. And then you're going to clip in the cables. On this left side, it's the grey and white cable. And that fits over the white socket here, kind of over the middle of it. Should click down. On either side of here. Into the black piece goes the piece that has four white cables. And that fits into the socket on this black piece. And just 
clicks down. In front of it is this piece that has four, three grey cables and a black cable, and that also just slots in. These don't have clips, so they just they just push in. Once those are in, I can replace the fan. Two black screws. And then these at the front, the black one goes furthest away. They just fit over like that. And like that. They've got a silver screw each, small little silver things. Now we should be ready for the case to go back on. It goes down front and first. Put it in an angle and it should drop in there. And then finish it off, make sure it's flush down. And now we can flip it over. Obviously you don't need me to talk you through this. We have the long screws in the ones around the edges. You have the blue screw under here, and then there's also, remember, the screw that hides under the void, now void warranty sticker. You have rubber feet on the ones on the corners, and plastic tops on the ones that aren't in the corners. And obviously the blue screw has its own little door. Although you got to remember, down the front here we have the three safety screws that are going to require the, once again, the T9H security screwdriver bit to replace those. Kind of important to get those back on. And that should be the job done.